Hello and welcome to Women's Football Talk. Today we are continuing with our series of looking at each WSL team ahead of the 24-25 season and today it is Leicester City's turn. Now the Foxes are the fourth and final team headed into this season with a new manager and at the helm for them this season is Amadine Mikel who joins from Stade de Rennes over in France. Now a off the field um, controversy to the second half of last season uh, plagued Leicester City massively and it distracted the players it seemed and the results just weren't as good as they have been but they finished in 10th place last season so back to back 10th place finishes for them in the third season in the WSL and they'll be hoping th this season all that can be put behind them and they can focus on becoming a much more consistent and then I said the uh, WSL team as the season goes on. With Mikel coming over from uh, Stade de Reims over in France, she signed a lot of uh, French players, uh, Naomi Michon, uh, Shana Schwarzenot, uh, Chantal Swaby who has also come over from France. So she's gone down the route of buying players that she knows either from Stade de Reims or from coming up against them in the French League over um, the past seven years where she was in charge of uh, Rems. Now, it's going to be interesting to see how they fit in. Obviously, the golfing difference between the WSL and the French division. Obviously, we know the top sides are PSG, uh, Lyon and Paris FC. And then you would say Stade de Reims are fourth, where coming down to Leicester City now, there's obviously that difference in terms of how good the team is. Uh, and obviously how competitive and close the WSL can be compared to other leagues but it's going to be a really interesting to see that transition. They've also made the loan signing of Asmita Ali permanent. She was at the club from January and she's now joined them permanently as well as uh, Ruby Mace who had previous loan spells at Leicester City. She has now come in on a permanent after leaving Manchester City. Now the big news um, that they have also been trying to do is keeping hold of uh, Lisa Kopp. The uh, Dutch goalkeeper has been heavily linked with Manchester United all throughout the window, but as a time recording, there's only a couple of days left of that transfer window, and she is, looks set to be staying uh, at the King Power Stadium. So that's a big, big um, success if they can keep hold of her because she's a very talented keeper and can understand why Manchester United have been looking at her. But yeah, being able to keep on uh, her at the club will be a very, very uh, big thing for them. So let's have a look at the standout new signing for the Foxes. And for me is Chantal Swaby. The Jamaican has joined them on a two-year deal from FC Fleury in the French League and is another player who's been brought in to strengthen their defensive options. She's had spells at Rangers and in the NWSL over in the United States and has been really good at international level with Jamaica, uh, especially at the World Cup in 2023. And she's bringing a lot of valuable experience into this Leicester team as they had a number of players uh, leaving um, this summer, as is always the case with WSL teams, a lot of players end up leaving on free transfers. So uh, I think the addition of Swaby, or Swalby, sorry, pronunciation may be uh, wrong there, is something that is definitely going to help them go up and become a more consistent uh, team for them, definitely. Uh, the player to watch for me is obviously Jutta Rantala. The 24-year-old Finnish international has been absolutely fantastic. Last season had 11 goal contributions, 6 goals and 5 assists and was even uh, nominated for the WSL Player of the Season award and if she can continue to be one of Leicester's more creative players as this season goes on even under new management she will definitely just keep going from strength to strength because I think she's such a versatile wide forward player and I think she's just so good it wouldn't be surprising if in January if she's having a great start to this season that uh, one of the big teams end up looking at her because I think she's such a good player and uh, she could be soon outgrowing uh, her stay at Leicester City but obviously Leicester will be hoping to keep her and uh, will be hoping that she will play really well for them throughout this season but yeah definitely uh, someone I can see doing really well for them this season and the breakout young star is Naomi Mushan. nine goals in 22 appearances at just 22 years old was at Stade de Rem last season as they finished in fourth place in the French League obviously knows Amadine Mikel as she was her manager and it's one where you would expect her to easily get her style of play, get her patterns, and then 
uh, will become a regular in this Leicester team as the season goes on and I think we'll see her just go wow this is actually a really top player that uh, Leicester City have got on their hands and watch her keep on going uh, up the ladder over the next couple of years under uh, Amadine Minkow and obviously you'll be hoping that uh, for Leicester City that will help them go up the table and become a more consistent team and put in better performances throughout the season not just getting the here and now results like every three or four games they've got to be trying to get them more consistently or you can't be going uh, on a long uh, streak so I think all four managers so that's Brighton, Chelsea, Aston Villa and Leicester City they're all in for interesting seasons we've got to be looking at them a lot to see how their managers are going to do how well they adapt to the English game how well their tactics and styles adapt to the English game and how well the players and how long do the players take that are already at the club to fully adapt and get used to the season so I think all eyes should be on those four teams throughout the season just to see how well those managers get on. Alright, make sure you like and subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss a video of ours. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at WF Talks and Women's Football Talk on Instagram, all one word, for all the latest news and stories over there. Make sure you follow us on our Substack page as well, womensfootballtalk.substack.com, for all the latest articles from around the world of women's football. In the meantime, we'll see you soon.